Hello, this is Tanner Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to build your own vacuum tube socket. So a common problem for people who make DIY projects with vacuum tubes is that the vacuum tube sockets are very expensive. I was just looking on eBay for one, and one socket cost about $4. Now I thought this was an outrageous price, so I decided to build my own for free. It can hold the vacuum tube very well, and it provides good conductivity. Let's get started. So to build this tube socket, first you need to find the tube that you're going to use. So I'm going to use this 6AU6 tube with 7 pins. So, the first thing you need to do is you need to take a pencil or something that uses graphite and you need to draw on the top of each pin. After you're done with that, you need to take the tube and put it down on a sticky note or some piece of paper. Now you need to hold it down there and press it down tightly so that way it rubs the lead off on the paper. So when you take it off, there should be all of the dots where the holes go on the tube. So after you have the dots labeled on the sticky note, you then take a nail and poke each hole out. This will be the stencil to trace the tube pin layout on whatever you will use as your base. So now to cutting the base for the vacuum tube socket. So I have this old plastic fan casing and I'm not using it for anything so I'm going to use this hacksaw and I'm going to cut off a square hole in the plastic like this one. So now that I'm finished I have a square piece of plastic that will be the right size for my vacuum tube socket. When you are done with that you will take the base and put the stencil over the base. Then you can take a sharpie marker or whatever you choose to use and draw in each hole so that way you can put the accurate pin layout on to the base. Now that I have the base stenciled with the vacuum tube pinholes, I'm now going to make the holes. Now this is a bit hard with a drill because you need to be very precise. So I put an extended tip on my soldering iron and this really works. So what you do is you stick the soldering iron and you push it down. And it should just go through. And there's your first hole. And it's as easy as that. You push it down slowly at first, and then you hurry and yank it out to get the perfect size hole. Now, you need to make sure you have a soldering fan on, because the vapors from this smoke are toxic and cancer-causing because it's a burning plastic. So you need to be careful. When you're done, you should get something that looks like this. So before you go any further, you should test to see if your holes match by inserting the tube inside. So as you can see, my tube fits perfectly. For that, you're going to need to take wire, strip both ends, and put one end into each hole. Every single hole needs to have a wire inside. So, as soon as you have wire in every hole, you can take the wire and hot glue it to the sides. Here is the finished vacuum tube socket. I have all the wires soldered in, and each one is pushing into the hole. So when you insert the tube, you have to insert it where the wires are going in. So I'm going to insert it, and it fits snugly. If you look right there, all of the pins are making good contact with the wires. So, this is how to make a vacuum tube socket. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.